life is going to happen. And you're going to set up a plan and you're going to have a vision and you're going to hope that it's going to turn out perfect. But what so often happens in life is that things get burned and things go the wrong way. And it's in that moment that you're going to have to choose your reaction. You have a choice to make. Do you have the right reaction or do you have the wrong reaction? Some of us were tempted. I'll just lay here and it will pass over me. I'm telling you, you will be in a vicious cycle forever. You have to get up. Some of you have been knocked out by light and you got up and saw the blood. And you, ah, he hit me. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. As you're going through your go through and you ready to quit, you ready to give in because it don't look like you think it should look. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it.